Knowing God for yourself. This time uh, we are considering Isaac. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name that we are here before your spirit to be taught, impacted, brought into a new level of revelation in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. There was famine in the land, the land of Gera, where Isaac dwelt. And this, it's the famine was severe. <laughs> yes. And Isaac wanted to run away because people were running away. Yeah, it's like it happens in this day and age when the, the economic climate is dark. In one area, people run to other areas. They run from Nigeria to the UK or from the UK to the America and so on. But you need to know God for yourself, not to be moved by economic circumstances. Yes, because our God owns the heavens and the earth. The earth in all its fullness belongs to God. And so wherever God has placed you, you can prosper, regardless of the economic climates or circumstances or indicators. Yes. And so in this story in Genesis chapter 26, Isaac wanted to run away, but God appeared to him and told him, stay in the land. Do not go away. Do not go down to Egypt. Egypt is a symbol of, symbolic of sin. Symbolic of the world. Do not go down to Egypt. Lean in the land which I will tell you. And so Isaac obeyed God. Yes. And God granted him favor. The six, so Isaac stayed in Gerah. And I want you to note that apart from staying in the land, he also sowed in the land. Yes, he sowed in the land. So if we look at um, verse 12, then Isaac sowed seed in that land in that land where there was famine he sowed he was not afraid to sow and as a result of sowing he received in the same year a hundred times no a hundred fold a hundred fold is more than a hundred times as much as he had planted and the Lord favored him with blessings Okay. Also in that chapter, when Isaac began to open up the well that his father had, had which had been blocked, some enemies of his blocked it again. Now all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistine had closed and filled with earth. Okay. In verse 12 we see that he sowed in the land and had a hundred for return. 
Verse 14. He owns flocks, herds, and a great supply of servants, and the Philistines envied him. In other words, despite the famine, Isaac sowed in the land and was blessed super abundantly. And he had servants and flock. He became great and gained more prominence. He was wealthy and distinguished and was envied. And so what is the lesson for us in this passage? When you know God for yourself and you obey Him, He will bless you super abundantly, so much so that even in the a place where it was, there was famine, you will, you will prosper. And again you will be envied by those who do not believe by those who do not see eye to eye with you, by those who do not have a godly perspective, you will be opposed. We can see that in verse 15 as they close the well he tried to open. And they told him, go away from us, for you are much mightier than we are. <laughs> they were saying it themselves. Go away, you are much mightier than we are. Verse 18, And Isaac dug again the well of water which had been dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he gave them the name by which his father had called them. Isaac servant dug the valley and found there a well of living water, spring water, Perrier. And the headsmen of Gera quarreled with Isaac's headsmen, saying, The water is ours. And he named the well Ezek, contention, because they quarreled with him. Yes, and so you too will have contention, you too will have opposition, you too will have aggravation, yeah. you too will have conspiracy against you, even when you know God for yourself, even when you are prospering. In fact, you have contention because of that. But how do you stand? How do you remain? How do you maintain your sanity in the face of such contention? In the face of such jealousy and opposition and persecution? You must know God for yourself. And they did. Isaac, Isaac and his servants did. They moved away from there, dug another well. Guess what? God gave them a room, favor. And for that one, they did not quarrel. He named it Rehoboth, room, saying, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Glory to God. And so, child of God, under the sound of my voice. Yes, in time of famine, do not run away to a place you think the grass is greener. Seek God's face. Hear God. Stay where He has put you. If His presence is with you, that is all you need to prosper, even in the land of famine. And when you are faced with contention and opposition. When you dig wells and the wells are blocked again and again, 
You must know God for yourself to stand strong and keep digging. Don't surrender to your enemies until God gives you room as he did Isaac in this passage. God will not forsake you. He will give you room. Your enemies will be tired and they will give up in the name of Jesus. You must know God for yourself. Yes. To keep going from strength to strength regardless of the climate. Hallelujah. Know God for yourself. I will instruct you in the way that you should go. I will teach you. I will counsel you and direct you. Watch over you. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your path. You will hear a voice saying to you, this is the way. Walk you in it. Do not turn to the left, nor to the right. Make level paths before you. My child, attend to my word, listen to my instruction. The path of the righteous shines ever brighter to the full light of day. The step of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table, a banquet for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you, direct you, watch over you. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you, direct you, watch over you. You lean not on your understanding and in all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your path. Lean not on your understanding and in all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your path. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you, direct you, watch over you. I will instruct you and teach you the way Jesus Christ, 
the glorious Father, that he may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and his incomparable great power for those who believe that power that is working mightily in you that power which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him on the right hand of the heavenly realms far above all rule and authority power and dominion and every title that can be given not only in this present age but also in the one to come I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and how long and how high and deep is the love of Christ and to know his love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God now unto him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever amen let him all your ways I they nod on your understanding, may all your ways acknowledge me, and I will direct your path. 